the really important questions are, right. well, what do I work on? Right. You know what the existing uh, frontier is, but you know, there are some questions that are, you could work on them for the next 15, 20 years. You're not going to get anywhere because it's not ready yet. I mean, okay. there's a gulf between here and there, which we probably just don't even have the substrate, scientific understanding and substrate to afford that. So if you tried that, you, you, you're doomed to fail. On the other hand, there are some things you could easily succeed at, but they're trivial. And that reminds me, uh, Howard Rockland, your great friend and one of our colleagues at Duke, uh, when he spoke at one of the events about you after you won the prize, uh, he said that when he first knew you, he boasted to you of, that he had had something like 82% of his projects had been successful and instantly published, and that you were very scornful of him. Uh, and you said, if you have that many successes, you must not be trying things that are very hard. That's right. <laughs> So this is true, it's a true story. <laughs> he left my office very chastened by that. And he, he's reminded me of that. So I have an exercise that I have gone through for most of my career at Duke. Uh, something I do every year, usually during the, the Christmas, New Year's break. I sit down by myself uh, and I review what my goals were for the year, what the directions were, what some of the projects were. And I go through them and I see what's working, what's fallen by the wayside because it turned out to be a stupid idea, uh, where there's a glimmer of hope, etc. I look and try to get a sense of what fraction of things that I'm trying to do are being successful. If that number gets too high, like 50% would be way too high, uh, then uh, I really question what we're doing. I'm pleased to report we're nowhere near that high. Uh, <laughs>